back to another episode of M Creator Lore, and today what we're going to be doing is adding those different blocks that we created last episode. So the textures, we made a whole bunch of textures for wood and stuff like that. So uh, some stripped logs, some planks, uh, we have uh, variations for doors as well. Well, not variations, but like we have a couple door textures and a trapdoor texture. So. We'll be making all the different types of elements out of those, and then we'll be also be setting up fuel for all of these blocks as well. I've been kind of neglecting to add recipes and stuff, so I'm going to try to get some of that in. But don't worry, I'm, I cut a lot of the uh, process out, so it's just a little bit shorter in time because there was a lot of things that I needed to add fuel for. All right, so right now I'm just updating the textures that we added for the stripped logs and um, basically we still need to add the mechanics to that we'll do that in another video but um, it's not too hard to actually set up we just require a right click procedure a global one and then we can basically test if we're right clicking on it with a axe tool and then if that's true then we can go ahead and switch the model uh, around while keeping the same rotation and stuff so it's it's pretty simple system um not gonna lie but uh we need to get the planks and everything in first and get all the different textures and then i also the reason why i'm doing this is so we can actually expand into building structures and stuff and then start generating some randomly generated structures in the um the the biome or the dimension itself so we'll probably put them in a couple different biomes i'm not sure it will, it will vary depending on the wood types and stuff like that but um, I wanted to kind of get that set up. Uh, given that the forest is going to be really close to the plains, we'll probably use the uh, wood from there and set that up. But uh, yeah, at the moment I'm just working on getting the door set up so we can import the door textures. We're going to set that to a door and then we need to get the uh, models for the door or the textures. So those are the two textures, and then I wasn't really sure what to put this on. I decided to put it on cutout because I, I'm like, I don't know, there was uh, the solid, but I, I put it on cutout because I wasn't entirely sure um, what it needed, per se. So um, other values that I basically looked up was the hardness and resistance. I did this for a lot of the pages, and I just set the hardness and resistance up the same as the wood sets in vanilla Minecraft. So, and then the sounds, and uh, pretty much the only other thing that I needed to change for most of these were the uh, material type, and sometimes the the actual piston or other things, but um, it wasn't too often that I had to change the piston or the um ai pathfinding method so i believe this one is going to be the trap door so we're going to go ahead and set up that we're going to set up the properties the um creative tabs already set up so i had to look up to see what the properties were so it's two and two just like the door and i need to set up the breaking properties and then go ahead and set the wood type I'm just using the same color as uh, oak wood, so uh, uses law or wood for that. And then I ended up forgetting the textures actually, so I ended up needing to select that for the texture for the trap door. But outside of that, it was pretty good. And then we needed a few other things, a uh, few a few other components. Uh, one of them being uh, the stairs, I believe. Um can't remember oh no the fence we needed the fences uh, fence gates and uh, we have buttons pressure plates and we also need um, a few other things I can't remember what stairs slabs those things uh, but yeah those are basically the things that I'm working on right now so this one is the um, I believe it's the fence and then we needed a uh, I forget what this one is. It's a uh, pressure plate, I think. And yeah, it should be the pressure plate. So I needed to set the um, texture for the wood. And 
then I needed to go ahead and set up all the properties again. Uh, this is just a very repetitive kind of video because there was a lot of things that I needed to do for the exact same wood type, but it, it will pay off in the end. Uh, there was a part at the end of the video that there I show all the wood types and stuff like that and how they look um, after we imp made the procedure and all the other wonderful um, components and stuff because uh, I, w I always do that at the end of the video because it's important to me to show what we've done especially when working in M Creator and stuff and it will give us a lot of more options to start building with um, what materials we do have in the world already and you know give some extra fuel options as well as um, general stuff so uh, yeah so I needed to look up the button and this one has a 0 0.5 uh, hardness and resistance and I'm going to set all the properties up and then we can go ahead and set up the uh, I believe we need the um, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't uh, flammable and it doesn't look like it is some of these are flammable so Okay, so we got that, and just, just going over of what we need still. So button, pressure plate, and then we needed the, I think I, I ended up messing up something at this point. Can't remember what I was uh, trying to do, but I ended up, I remember having to redo a pressure plate system. I might have named it wrong, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I'm just setting up that right now. So it's the same as the button for the hardness and resistance. And then I needed to go ahead and work on the, um, what was next? So it's just confirming the settings that were all set up. So these ones, I was going over that particular one. Um, I needed, Oh yeah, I basically needed to see what I uh, what I was missing from the the set. So I needed stairs. All right. So once we create the stairs, then we'll be able to go ahead and make the slabs as well. So basically, I think that's pretty much the last part of importing the or making the blocks themselves. I don't think there was many other things that we needed to make. Um, I might have forgotten the um, fence gate. But um, after that, basically what I worked on was the fuel properties and getting those all set up so we could basically um, use a lot of these materials in fuel. And then I set up the um, leaves to basically be composted, but for some reason they weren't composting, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that particular thing, but uh, I'll have to look into what's going on uh, later on and see if there's anything I can do on my end to fix it uh, because leaves can be composted but um, at least according to wiki but it wasn't really working when I, I set it up so I'm not sure what's going on so we're on to slabs now and we're basically going to set up the properties for slabs the hardness and resistance and then go to the this tab and make sure that it has uh, the wood uh, color on the map so we know that it's wood type and then we're going to go ahead and set the um, I think we can just leave a lot of the settings alone after that so after that I wanted to go ahead and just double check a few things I wanted to see if there was any recipes that we had for the uh, previous wood types and I know that I have been slacking a lot so I wanted to go ahead and find the recipes and create recipes for all of these different things. So it required a lot of work to set these up. Uh, I needed a tag for the wood types, like the logs themselves, so I could go ahead and basically um, allow me to test for any log type and then for that particular wood set and then basically create uh, planks based on that. So basically I needed to copy that tag and create that tag after I created the recipe. So basically I would set that up and set that to four 
and then we go went ahead and just basically set up the 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 recipe group so basically after this i needed to go ahead and create the um what was it the tag itself so basically i was just setting that up and i was just removing a few of these things so it would align properly and then we could basically add those particular wood types to the thing i think i added the stripped logs as well because i i remembered that i needed that for the other part but the next one that i worked on was the fence i think um or maybe this was no this was planks that's right or button i don't know <laughs> it's the button okay and basically i just started naming it um certain things like that and i actually decided to call it just button because i think when it's under the mod namespace it will actually go ahead and um be the like it'll be separated from other mods anyways so i'm not sure if this is the case but i'm i'm going to give it a try and just see if that's uh how it's working because i can't remember or i don't really actually know if it will um carry over into other mods but giving that it's under the mod namespace i don't think it will all right so this one i'm setting up the recipe for um I believe stairs now so basically i needed to set all the planks up for the wood type and after i got all the recipes and stuff done i started looking over at the fuel properties and there's a whole entire wiki page if you search up fuel and I needed to look up um, basically how to do that. So basically you do this through item extensions and it used to be under the its own element called fuel but now it's under item extensions and you have to select a single uh, particular thing uh, for the fuel itself and then you have to um, basically type or enable the fuel part and then set the ticks. Now, I got this part wrong. I thought it was seconds at first, but it's actually measured in ticks. So I ended up having to go back and redo a few of these older um, ones that I created. But basically when you're typing it out, it's in ticks, not seconds. So keep that in mind when you're actually doing it. There's 20 ticks per second. So if you have to figure that out, then you have to get a calculator or something. But um, outside of that, yeah, basically I was just setting that up and I had to re fix a few of these things and once this was done I was able to um, set up some other things uh, again you can set up the the composting uh, material in this particular section as well so again I enabled it for the leaves but I'm not sure why it wasn't working I think it might be because it's a block or something like that um, I'll have to look into it because I'm not entirely sure why it wasn't working, but it's something that I'll have to figure out um, based on uh, the thing. So I'm not sure exactly why, but I'll look into it later on today or tomorrow, whatever, and see if I can't um, maybe on the weekend and see if I can't figure out why it was doing it. But uh, yeah, basically I was just setting up the um, the creative tab inventory. We actually have a lot of blocks and items now, so it's coming around to be a really good mod. And I needed to go ahead and move all these things to separate folders so they were a little bit more organized so I can move them to the uh, thing and then we can set up the recipes into its own thing. And we'll just set, select all the recipes and drag those over. And that should be somewhere else and that's the tag so we'll just stick that in there for now and then we'll bring that over here and then we can drag the tag under tags and we'll remove the recipe and put the recipe back into the right folder uh yeah so that's basically that we'll create a new folder called um, recipes or something like that uh, for the wood types and then I can basically go ahead and just enable a couple things we need a couple tags for the fences I'm just going over the tags right now because uh, in order to get the fences to connect you need those particular two tags and um, not sure if there's anything else there's probably a few other things in here that we'll have to add uh, for proper mechanics and stuff but um, 
basically just going over this just to make sure that we have everything that we need and it looks like we do so we can set up these tags here so we're just going to add our fence to this one here and this one needs to be our fence as well i think maybe um slap stairs i'm not sure what the other one was <laughs> can't really see for more recording all right so basically i need to stick those things under their own little tab for things and then I, I forgot to organize the other one so uh, that one needs to go under that all right so in game now and then we got the um, actual fences so we can see that the fences are connecting and stuff so we can go ahead and do that and there are wood types so the planks I'm really happy how the planks turned out those look good and then we have the doors trap doors uh, pressure plates buttons and um, what else do we have we have the stairs and slabs over on the other side and the stripped logs versions as well as the log versions and leaves uh, should be able to be composted but like I said either not composting for some reason so we have the leaves leaf set as well so um, again, we'll have to test a few things like I was testing the composting mechanics right now and it was just placing it next to it. So I'm not sure if that particular mechanic's broken at the moment or what's going on, but it's not composting blocks for some reason, which might be problematic. So I'll have to see if that's actually a bug or not. And then if it is, then probably report it. But, um, yeah. Uh, then we had the smelting recipes, so I'll grab a furnace quickly, and then we can set up the uh, planks. We'll just put planks in here and maybe some other material. We'll just grab some logs or something like that, just to see the see if it's smelting properly. And it is smelting, so that's good. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.